Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, it's going to be very different from all the other videos I have on my channel. As you can see from the title, it is going to be about cash stuffing. I did make a few cash stuffing videos and posted them to the channel last year. However, I took those down because at that time I was still very new to the whole cash envelope system. I didn't have a solid system in place, nor was I very consistent. Um, now that a year has passed, I believe I have a good cash system now. I mean, it's still not the best as I, as I think I can still make some improvements to this whole um, system, but I think I'm ready now to start filming my budget journey with the community. So with that said, I welcome you all to watch my first of many series to come, my cash stuffing video number one. So let's get started. So I got paid a couple days ago. I did my budget from that paycheck or from this paycheck and have gone to the bank to get the cash I needed to stuff into my envelopes. So here is my pink binder with all of my envelopes. Um, they're technically zipper bags, but based on the um, YouTube budget community and Dave Ramsey verbiage, they're called envelopes. So that's just what I'm going to refer them to as, as my cash envelopes. So as of right now, I have a total of 19, I believe 19 envelopes. I only have one binder um, since we, we meaning my husband and I, do budget money for all of the automatic bills or finance that's connected to our savings account. Um, that includes our HSA, car and home health insurances, retirement, general savings, emergency savings, and I think that's what I can think of right now. I'm sure there are other things, but so um, with my pet, with my paycheck, I've already budgeted for those and um, what is left over, I just kind of took it out from my checking account. I just took whatever um, cash I needed from my checking account to save it into, into these uh, cash envelopes. So that is what I'm going to do. And we are going to be stuffing a total of 2805 so $2,805. So I should, I went to the bank and this was the slip that I gave them to get the dominations. I should have 24,100. So let me just get the $100 bills out. And I will count all these. I'm just counting by numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Some of the some of these $100 bills are very new, so they're a little mm -hmm. sticky. And I'm going to put it here actually. So you guys can see that. And then 450s So one, two, three, four. Put that in there. Or you know what? I'm gonna do this. It's confusing me. So do that. Okay, and then seven twenties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's a hundred and forty. And 20s, tons, five tons. One, two, three, four, five. And then three fives. One, two, three. We'll go right here. Actually, I'm going to move this up. So I'm just going to just throw this away. 
or set this aside for now. And then I am going to place these like this. Apologize, I'm still kind of very new to this budget community, so I'm trying to um, organize my desktop so that you guys can see my cash and as well as my binder. So, oh, and I do have a $100 gift card. Um, this was a gift from my nephew, so this will also be included with the budget. And I'm setting that right here. Okay. And then, um, I, not only do I have cash envelopes, but I also have, um, tabs that I keep in my wallet. So here are my tabs. So I have therapy tab and events. I have other tabs in here as well, but these are the current ones that are in my wallet right now. So, see, and I have, okay, so I'm just gonna set that aside. Okay, all right. All right, so the first cash envelope that I will be stuffing is mortgage, and mortgage is getting $300. So, one, two, three. There's currently nothing in mortgage right now, aside from a bunch of papers, but so mortgage has $300 now. Um, next will be vacation, and vacation is getting $600. And we currently have $1,050 in here in my envelope. And I'm stuffing 600, so I'm adding 600. And that will give me, what's today's date? That will be, $1,650. So this vacation envelope is the only one that has, that has a budget slip, a budget tracking slip. The reason why is because I'm going on a few trips this year. Um, so I'm going to Pensacola, Florida next month in, in August, and then I'm going to Cancun in September. And I believe I want to do a Vegas trip or a Nashville trip with um, the Vegas trip with my husband and a Nashville trip with my girlfriends or siblings. So um, that's why it's important that I have a cash tracking slip in here because it's, it's all of that. Vacation is all those trips that I'll be taking the rest of this year. So I am grabbing the dollar bills and I'm doing one, I don't like that one dollar. $100 bill. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I am adding it to what I currently have in here. And we can count the total. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So a thousand dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, fifty. Thousand six hundred dollars. Okay, and then next is events and gifts. Envelope. Um, okay, where is it? Right here. It has nothing in this envelope, but I do have some in my tab that I keep in my wallet. So 
I'll take that out. I have $50 here. And then I am going to be adding $170 to this. So $100 bill, $150, and $120. So now if we count this, I will now have a total of $150, $70, $90, $100, $120. $120. Okay, I think I'm just gonna start from the beginning. I'm so sorry, you guys. Okay, versus like me trying to look at my budget tracker on, on my spreadsheet computer and then having to look for the cash envelope. So I think I'm just gonna go in order as I have it in my binder. So the dollar challenge, what this is, is um, anytime I have leftovers in my, any $1 bill leftover that I have in my wallet, I will move it into this dollar challenge. And the end of every quarter, I will use whatever dollar bill I have saved in here and use it towards paying off my school loan. So now I currently have $24 in here. I believe let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four so twenty four dollars and this is going to be added to the end of september monthly payment for my um school loan and that way we can decrease the payment for my school loan so that is my one dollar challenge everyone on the youtube community they have it very set up very differently um this is just that this is how i am setting up my one dollar cha challenge because it works it works for me so um that is what i'm going to be doing so every quarter Every, at the end of every quarter, whatever dollar bill I have saved in here will be used towards to paying off my school loan because that is the number one thing I really want to pay off. Okay, next is Ruby. And Ruby is Ruby is my toy poodle, for those who don't know. She is five months. Um, she is getting $25, so just a $20 bill and a $5. So now we count it. Should have three fifty. So one, two, hundred, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred, ten, hundred thirty, so three thirty, three forty, three forty five, and three fifty. Yep. She is getting spayed in a couple of weeks, so this is saving for her getting spayed and then also I need to buy more food, more kibbles for her. And her grooming is actually tomorrow, so her grooming is going to be about $65 or $70 with tip maybe. So that is also going to be taken out for her grooming session. All right, so next envelope is business and business is going to get $200. Now I think in here I have 800, but I could be wrong. I don't have a tracker here. So I've been using this money, this cash envelope a lot for just business items and things. Um, and so let me just add $200 into this one. And then let's count the total now. So one hundred, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred, a thousand, twenty, forty, sixty five. So a thousand sixty five.
Okay, and then next envelope is home and this is for like home furnishings and decor stuff like that so this one is uh is getting forty dollars oops so i'm taking that 20 two 20s adding it with the rest here now we're counting the total and it's one two hundred 220, 240, 260, 270, 280 is what I currently have in here for home. I do plan on getting my shed or my chandelier for my dining room. I've been meaning to get it for the past year now and I've just been putting it off because I keep buying other stuff for the home. So I'm going to make it happen hopefully by the end of next month by the end of august so that is to come okay and then next envelope is kids school now this is um money for like school supplies school clothes shopping um fees lunch and things like that so this is actually getting 30 dollars and they are going back to school in september or maybe the last week of august so I have to schedule a day to do all of their school and clothing supply before they go back to school. So I now have, let me just add this in here. I now have one, two, 300, 350, 60, 70, 90, 400. Is that right? One, two, three. Yeah, 450, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So $400 in kids' school envelope. Water bill. I haven't received the bill yet, but I should be receiving it by next or soon. I don't know, but it's coming up. This one I am stuffing $50 into here. So just getting $150. And I I think my the next cycle the next um quarter is probably going to be more because we now have our landscape done and we've been just using a lot of water so i our quarterly bill is usually only 170 to 180 dollars per quarter so i'm assuming or thinking or anticipating that it will probably go up to like 200 or 220 or maybe even 240 i don't know we've just been using a lot of water to water our grass and plants outside so 150 60 70 80 so 180 dollars in my water bill envelope now this one is not automatic this one we do pay it by the old-fashioned way which is by a check okay and then projects now this is house projects this is um bigger house projects so that's including our basement our patio our landscape which we just did and we have to pay that yet we have to pay that bill soon um it includes i think those are the three biggest one so far oh our um washer and dryer room and his closet so i don't know just bigger projects around our house and this one is getting a thousand dollars so this one is going to get it. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So add these tens to what I have now. So I have prop monies, you guys. Um, these are one thousand dollar prop money that I got off from Amazon very thin very big it doesn't they're bigger than the actual cash money but it works these are prop money because I don't normally keep this much money with me um this is a lot of money so it's actually in in the bank so that's why these are prop money in place of what I have in my bank so I now, for projects, I now have one, two, three, four, five, six thousand. 
and the 6,000 by the way is going to be taken out to pay for the landscape along with um, the additional cash and the additional money that we have saved in our bank to pay off our landscape. Our landscape is $13,000 you guys. So expensive, very expensive. So I have 6,000 here and the other 7,000 is already in the bank. Add those two combined is what we are going to pay off our landscape on. So for now, um, I have $6,000 in prop money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So seven thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six. So seven thousand six hundred dollars in projects. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to switch out whatever a thousand dollar accumulated out for a uh, one thousand dollar prop money that will come shortly after i stuff all these envelopes specific project this is towards a specific project goal that i have in mind for the house and this is really technically for the mudroom lockers that i've been trying so hard to save up for just the mudroom lockers itself is five thousand dollars i know that's very expensive and you guys might think i'm super crazy to even purchase lockers for that much but this um th this handy guy who um this carpenter guy that i've been following the past couple of years now he does amazing woodwork and he does he designs and builds lockers for a living and so his base lock lockers that he the, the base price for his locker starts from five thousand dollars and up so i my goal is to reach five thousand dollars for this specific project alone because i'm sure it's going to include like delivery install and all that so that is what this envelope is for um i did have more in this but i had to take it out to allocate some of the money into um, paying to like vacation to pay some of my other bills off too. So now um, I have a lower uh, dollar amount in here in this in this cash envelope. So in this cash pocket, I'm going to be stuffing two hundred dollars. So the last two of my hundreds and add it to this and I do have a prop money for this one as well so I have a thousand one two three four so a thousand four hundred I still have a long ways to go to reach five thousand but slowly and surely and little by little we'll get there and I will get my lockers okay so next envelope we already did vacation we already stuffed this car stuff this is like car maintenance and stuff like oil change detail um what else tires i need to get new tires so this is actually getting 55 dollars, and it's going to get 150 and 15 and then if we count the total Now have a hundred, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, eighty-five, ninety. So a hundred ninety dollars in car stuff. Car registration is also coming up, so I have to pay for that. That is what this envelope is also for. Therapy. This is not like I I I'm not in therapy. This is actually really just retail therapy doesn't fit so i just shortened it to therapy therapy is just like you know buying like materialistic items like shoes clothing and things like that purses whatever earrings jewelry so just a little therapy shopping envelope that i set aside for myself every now and so often that i would just splurge on myself so this one i do have um a tab for and I only have $20 in this tab um, so 
I am going to add thirty dollars to this envelope, so just a twenty and a ten. So now I have forty fifty. I don't spend a lot on myself, you guys. In case you guys are asking or questioning, it's only if whenever I have leftover, whatever, whatever I save up for, I will spend it myself. Um, events and gifts I already did, mortgage I already did. Now laser hair removal. I'm trying. I'm going to try so hard to save up for this to um, get it done next year. I currently only have twenty dollars bills in here, a twenty dollar bill in here. And this one will be getting $20, so just a $20 bill, so now I have $20. It's about $2.50 a session, and with I'm get, I want to get my underarm hair removal done, so underarm is a roughly around $2.50 per session, so they say that it's about six sessions total, so it's roughly around all close to $2,000. I'm sure it's a little bit under than $2,000, but it's close to $2,000. I'm just going to round it up to $2,000 just in case. Um, is what I need to save up for and cap this cap at because I definitely want to get this done next year. HOA, we already paid our HOA for this year. Um, this is going to be for next year. Our HOA is $500 every year. And this one, how much do I have? So I currently don't have anything in here, but I will be stuffing a $20 bill in here. So I actually, I'm just going to take two tons and just stuff it into oops into this envelope okay and then Owen is getting a ten dollar Owen is my oldest son he is eight right now he turned eight in, in May Owen currently has one two two fifty 270, 280, 285. $285. He's been helping me taking Ruby outside to go do her business. So his allowance has increased just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Because he still doesn't really help. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so Grayson is my youngest. He is four, turning five soon, and he is getting $5. And he's been also helping me getting food um, ready for Ruby. So he's been putting kibbles into her little trays, getting her water. So she, his is going to increase a little bit as well. So now he currently has 120, 125, 130. So $135 here. So now I have this $1.50 bill left and that is actually going into my Target tab. I don't have a Target envelope because I go to Target constantly and pretty much every week. So I already went there the other day, um, bought all my toiletries and all that at Target. So I'm only stuffing $50 from this paycheck into my tab. Here is my tab. Do like this and then just put it in here. And then these, um, I think I am going to take out. Uh, so for therapy, I think I'm going to just take out. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to take anything out for therapy. For events though, I think events I'm going to take I think I'm just gonna do I'm gonna save the hundred dollar bill in my envelope as a reserve and then um, take out 50 to 70 80 90 110 20 120 out and put it into my tab and into my wallet like that okay set this aside also set that aside 
Okay, so now I am done stuffing all my cash envelopes. Next step then is I'm just gonna do my cash exchange right away. So um, for projects, I'm looking at the projects envelope. I am going to be, this is my prop money case. Um, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so a thousand dollars here. I'm gonna put that, deposit that back into the bank, and then re and, and then replace it with a uh, one thousand dollars prop money. Put it in there, and then these once it reaches a thousand, I will exchange it for a prop money. Okay, and then I think that is. It. Um, just looking to see what else. Oh, you know what? So there, there is one envelope that I didn't stuff, and that's the M envelope. I was going to allocate some money and put it into this one. M stands for mom, so it's going to be my mom and my husband's mom. A. Let's see. Oh, I am going to go into, yep, it was business. I'm going to go into my business cash envelope, and I'm going to take out uh, two 20s, so $40, and stuff it into my um, envelope. So I'm allocating $40 that I stuffed in from my business envelope, and I'm putting it into my M mom envelope. So now I have $40 in there. Now going back to my business envelope, let's just recount this to make sure that um, we know the total. So one, two, three, four, five hundred, six, seven, eight, nine thousand twenty-five. So a thousand twenty-five. Is currently in my business cash envelope. There you go. And this one, I'm not going to exchange it with a thousand dollar prop money, only because I am constantly dipping into this business um, cash envelope folder all the time. Like I am constantly using. I'm I'm just buying so many things. Um, like I have to restock some business cards. Some uh what is it oh my gosh so <laughs> i'm just losing my thoughts here just you know purchasing prints for my clients and things like that so it's coming out from this business uh cash envelope i am i'm always dipping into this so that's why it's, i'm not i don't ever change it exchange it for a prop money i think that is it you guys so I know it seems like I was kind of all over the place and I apologize for that. Uh, this is my first video with this whole cash budget or cash envelope budget system. I hope that you guys do come back and watch the next video. I will be doing other cash stuffing videos and more in the future. So like this video subscribe and comment below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye